All right, y'all. We're back at it again with another Black Series. Star Wars Black Series. Tech. Star Wars. Star Wars. The Bad Batch. The Bad Bitch. Yep, just picked this guy up at um, Target in the Disney aisle. They got a Disney section there now. Ours is a fairly new. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into the figure. I'm not going to waste any time with this fucking shit, boy. Tech is a computer and weapon specialist. The most talkative of the group. His genetically enhanced brain can puzzle through technological issues at speeds even faster than some droids. Very interesting. Very interesting. I've only seen a few episodes of this, of this show. So, you know, I'm not the best one to talk about this guy. But I just remember he makes everyone, like, passports or whatever. But let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Uh, you know how we do. We do accessories first. So we got his little backpack here. A lot of, a lot of. Uh, not a lot of actual paint detail on this bad boy mostly just like right here no paint scuffs it's mostly just sculpting two little dingly antennas a little peg hole in the back sorry my thumbs are dirty i work in a warehouse you know um you know get dirty try to clean underneath my nails but you know it's not really happening all the time so yeah that's his backpack we get his little blaster with no gun holder. I'll talk about that later. It's pretty good. Like metallic. Like that gun metal. Kind of a harder plastic than. Oh no. It's like still a little bendy. Still a little bendy. Like the little Rex pistols. Commander Rex pistols. Whatever you want to call them. Pretty nice. And then he comes with his helmet. Art with the little articulation. On oh I never even know. There's a little skull right there. It's pretty cool. It's got a little more detail. Oh it's got like. It's a lightning bolt around it, kind of like a little thing. It looks like it's all wearing, like worn down. Like it's, the paint is chipping from the thing, but it's really not. Sorry, my I keep I'm trying not to sniff so hard, but I don't know. My nose is runny right now. It's always runny when I record for some reason. The visor is articulated though. Bam. Now he's like zoomed in or whatever. Got the double antennas looking pretty sweet. Okay. And then we have these three little tools. I'll just put them right here. I don't really know what they do, but they're just, they're on his belt loop. They're on his, ugh. That's all hair. I, they're on his belt, ugh. They're on his belt and like, uh, yeah. Little tools, I guess, for building MacGyver and things out of little pieces of tech. Who knows? Alright, let's get into it though. Let's get into the actual figure all put together. Alright, and here we got our boy Tech out of the box. And I gotta say, I like this guy a lot. I don't really, like I said, I haven't seen this show. I mean, I have seen like a few of the first couple episodes. But once I saw like they had like the kid going around with them, I kind of got like Mandalorian vibes. I was like, damn, I don't wanna, really want to see a bunch of dudes hanging out with a fucking kid again like in Mandalorian. So I kind of tuned down, but... You know, maybe I'll get back into it. This is the first figure I've seen of those guys. I mean, I know they have the other... I think they have the whole rest of the gang. But, um, yeah, I saw this at Target, so I was like, let me pick him up. He looks pretty dope. Let's go ahead and remove this guy's helmet, though. So you can get a look at that face. Yeah. Again. Doesn't really look exactly like the cartoon. They try to make it look a little more realistic, I guess. More to more real life. I think it looks pretty good. Pupils look pretty good. Crazy. Crazy detail on these Black Series figures, honestly. These are where the tools go, like the little tools I showed you earlier. Go right here on his belt. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you're supposed to take them off. Or, I mean, you can, obviously. So, that's pretty detail. I mean, pretty, <clears throat> pretty good. No place to put his gun. That's pretty dumb. I just, you know, these leather, um, the satchels look pretty good. The belt looks pretty really good. All the, like, fabric underneath the, uh, armor. Boots. No place to put his gun, by the way. No ammo pouches. For, you know, his ammo. But no place to put his gun. 
Oh, a little skeleton right there, a little skull. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not really any like actual shading or anything like that. It's just like some of the paint, like the red paint around is like chipping away kind of. But there's no actual like, like, like different shading making it look darker or anything in other areas. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. I want to get the whole set, honestly, now. I, I, I don't know. That shit looks beautiful. Let me get into the articulation. Okay, so as far as articulation goes, your boy looks up not really that far. Looks down about that much. This boy got the, uh, the dumbbell joint right here, so no actual hinge. It's got a little weird neck joint in there as well. Arms go out about this far. Which is, this is like a little, um, you'd probably want this kind of going up. Maybe, kind of over like that. A little above that far. No bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, goes in about that far. Rotates at the wrist, of course. Then we got the down. And it goes, oh, pretty dumb, sorry. Goes up about that much. Then got the diaphragm joint, goes side to side. Not that much forward. It goes back kind of de decently far, so that's good. Our legs go out like that far. Now, that far, so that's actually not too bad. I think double jointed knee? No, single jointed knees. That's kind of a bummer. That's whatever. Um, it does rotate right here, but it also rotates at the, the boot. No, it just rotates at the, at the, at the knee. Right there. Feet go up about that much, go down about that much, and then side to side. So yeah, that's that. Real quick, I didn't mention this, but it does rotate right here at the, the calf as well. Forgot to mention that, sorry. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? No gun. No gun officer. Alright, I just want to show him off next to a couple of other clone troopers. It's like the more significant clone troopers, like Commander Rex, Commander Cody, Commander Wolf. You know? To see him. You know, they all relatively the same size. All clones look the same. I do think this guy looks pretty dope, though. Like, next to all these guys. Crazy. And the guy I'm standing next to a couple of Jedi, just to show you, you know, a good couple of ranges. I don't know why Luke Skywalker is there. It doesn't really make sense, but you know, I'm all about what ifs, baby. Standing about like, mm, hmm, like five and three quarters, looking like. Not kind of, kind of short on the shorter side, you know. But yeah, the Jedi. And the guy I'm standing next to a couple of Sith, got Darth Vader, Count Dooku, Darth Tyrannus, both really significantly taller than him, to be honest, it's kind of spooky for him. Alright, and this is him standing right next to a, the old school Stormtrooper, right now they changed the joint on the arms and the legs on the newer ones, but yeah, he's, he's a little bit taller, just like a teeny bit taller, you can see it, it's like in the helmet. A little bit taller. Yep. And you know, because I'm a nerd, you know, I like to check out the what is. So I got him standing next to Iron Man and you know, Star Lord, Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, be cool little crossover if that's what you want to do. You know, not too bad. It look kind of cool. It look kind of looking kind of cool. All right, yeah. Well, that's gonna do it for this review. Um, sorry if it was a little low energy. It's like two in the morning, so I'm trying to just but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you know, check out the Instagram, the Nintendo, and have yourself a beautiful, beautiful morning, or evening, or afternoon, or good night.